John Grisham is best known for his nail-biting legal thrillers, but in his new book, all the action is on the baseball diamond. Calico Joe is based on a real team. It's a story that John Grisham says, well, you can say it for yourself, that John Grisham says he's wanted to tell for a very long time. I've wanted to write a baseball novel for a long time, but I, I didn't You have... like baseball? Frustrated yeah. baseball player? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's my favorite sport. I played you know, my childhood sport. I coached my son in Little League. Uh, you know, I played in, in high school. Had big dreams and small talents. Didn't get very far. Uh, Didn't but, get very far in baseball. <laughs> in baseball, yeah. yeah. Or right. even law. Yeah. Or, or law, too. Yeah. That's right. Got That's lucky. Right. Now I'm taking up golf. Yeah. <laughs> Did you learn anything from watching Bubba Watson? Uh, yeah, I fired my swing coach Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Think of all the swing coaches who got fired Monday, okay? Who, yeah. who needs a coach if Bubba can be? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but just tell me this. Are you going to throw out the first pitch? At Wrigley you today at 1.30. For the Cubs? Cubs Brewers at 1.30. The first pitch, and uh, I need to live Do they up. know you're a St. Louis Cardinals yes, fan? Yes, why do you get to do, I was wondering that too, why do you get to do Well, that? the book takes place at Wrigley. The cover, oh, the cover right. is Wrigley that's Field, right. okay? Yeah. That's our, right. Our hero, Joe, Joe uh, Castle, Calico Joe, yes. comes up uh, with the Cubs in 1973, and he's a phenom like baseball has never seen before. He sets mm -hmm. records right and left. He plays for 38 games. The Cubs win most of them. And like most baseball stories, it ends sadly. But it's all about the Cubs' Mets in 1973. That's that part's fiction. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of real characters in the book. Uh, Ron Santo and um, Ernie Banks and Billy Williams and all the great Cubs from the 1960s and 70s. Don Kessinger. Some Mets, too. Uh, Tom Seaver and, yes. and, uh, and Willie Mays. His last season was yes. 1973. Yeah. That's what so, was so fun about the book to me, John, that you, you, you had real people yeah. and you had fictional characters. A couple of times I said, no, I think that's a real person. Right, right. I'd have to go look it up. And sure enough, the book is very, very interesting. It's a fun read. It's a Thank fun you. read. And, and based on something that you had read about the Tony Conigliaro was beaned. Yeah, it's, uh, there have been some famous beanballs in baseball right. history. Uh, remarkably, only one player has ever died from a beanball. It was 1920 here in New York. Beanball means getting hit in the head. In the head. In the uh -huh. head. A lot of, lot of uh, batters get hit, but when you throw it at a batter's head, everything changes. In the book, it was, well, we don't know. Is it yeah, let's don't give it all so away. Deliberate? Well, yeah. well, I can give a little bit of it away. Yeah. I mean, Calico Joe <laughs> was a phenom. <laughs> Right. You know, and he, it, he gets hit and it changes his life. It, it, it stops his career. Yeah. It, it cuts short a brilliant career. It ruins the career of the guy who threw the pitch. Yeah. And in the middle is a little boy who's 11 years old, who's the son of the pitcher. Yeah. He, he idolizes Joe. And it's how it, it, it transforms all three lives mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the lives of a lot of little boys that summer. Mm -hmm. Can I just talk about books for a second? May I hold up your it's book? Your, it's you your mind? show, Gail. Please hold it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's called Calico Joe. I finished it yesterday in an hour and 49 minutes. And the thing that I like is I still like, John, the feel of a book. I still like the smell of a book, touching the pages, putting in post its, writing in it if you want to. Are you worried about this new trend? I feel like the old person at the table that more and more people are starting to read online. Are you concerned about it or do you welcome that too? You know, Gail, for the next uh, two months, half of those books sold will be uh, digital uh -huh. uh, ebooks, And those numbers are astonishing. So this is a good thing for an author then? It's, it's a, yes, it's a good thing because uh, it's good for publishers, it's good for authors, more people are reading. Uh -huh. uh, my wife gave me a Kindle for Christmas. Uh -huh. I'm not wow. sure I'm reading more, but I'm ordering more. Uh -huh. you know, I'm ordering <laughs> yes. all kinds of stuff, you know, <laughs> newspapers and magazines and books, you know, so, it's so, fun to order. So now are you saying you don't care whether they read your books or not as long as they order them? Just buy them. I don't care. <laughs> just, I care if you read them, just buy them. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm like you, I still love, I love, I got a, I a stack of books on my nightstand I want to read, you know, yeah. just in the next two or three Three months. There are, we're always going to have books. Uh, I think so too. Getting hurt in all this is our bookstores. Mm -hmm. We're losing bookstores like crazy. Book sales mm -hmm. are down overall because we lost 800 stores last year with Borders. We've lost 2,000 stores in the last mm -hmm. 15 years. You yeah. know, stores can't compete with 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 mm -hmm. the e-books, and so that's the real. Publishers are making more money. E-books are very profitable. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't have to print the book, and there are no returns. Is Calico Joe a movie? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, we haven't. I, I vote yes. Here's your agent we right haven't here. So, yes. We yes. haven't sold the film rights yet, yes. but there's a lot of interest, and uh, yes. we hope so. Yes. Oh, I, I see it. I see it. As could good. be. Could be good. I will offer you some casting ideas okay. during the break. Good. You're welcome, John Grisham. Thank you. Thank you. For My coming. pleasure.